Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul of comic books that I had recently got over the last few weeks. So they're all kind of assorted still, but let's just start off over here. These comics um, were from Free Comic Book Day. So there's like, so like these ones were some samples that like local artists and stuff that these were samples that local artists had. So that kind of weird. But the first one I got was Dragon Ball Super. And there's actually a sneak peek of Boruto inside as well on the second half. Right there. So that was really cool. And here's the back of the other covers there. Now I got two Zeldas. Only because one is for me and one is for my sister who is currently out of town. So I picked one up for her. So don't think anything by me having double <laughs> duplicate comics. But yeah, this is just the first one of Zelda. Twilight Princess. And next I got this Attack on Titan one. This looks like that. And this one is called I Hate Image. Which is, don't let the art fool you. This is not for children. As you can see right there, traded M for mature. This is not exactly um, a children read. But they do have some pretty good looking graphics in there. Next is Ninja Turtles. And this is actually going to be a gift for someone. So I'm not keeping this. Even though it's way past free comic book day. But I haven't seen the person that this is for yet. So that's why I still have it. And these last couple ones, oh wait, okay. I got this Sonic one from Free Comic Book Day. And then the Simpsons one. And then these two were not free comics. I purchased these two when I was at the comic shop. So these are both volume 18. This is the regular cover and this is the variant. So here's what that looks like. And here's the variant. And then this was also a sample of another local artist who was trying to showcase their work. A Flower in a Field of Lions is the title of this one. And next, these are all from different comic shops too. They just accumulated and I put them in the same bag so I, I remember. So I also, um, the two main comics, the two only comics that I read are Betty Boop and Invader Zim. Betty Boop only has four issues, but there's a lot of variants to each issue. So, here's one of them. Love Betty Boop. And this is issue four of Invader Zim. I had a giant gap between for Invader Zim. And here's issue two. Here's issue 5 and issue 6. I really like this cover. <laughs> and here are some more Betty Boop. And there's that. Oops. They're sliding. And then this is issue 19, which is the most recent issue of Invader Zim. Really like that cover too. And the last set that I got which actually I believe I got this pile first. But so here's issue one of Invader Zim. Here's issue three. Here's issue nine. I have other Invader Zim comics that I got in a previous video, so I'll link that so you can see what the other ones look like as well. But here's issue 14. I like this cover a lot too. And here's issue 15. I really like this cover. <laughs> That one looks good. 
and the rest I believe are Betty Boop. So here's a blank of issue one. <laughs> Completely blank. But um, I'm not 100% familiar with comics, but I heard that when you when there's a blank cover of a comic, it's so like if you go to a convention or if you meet the artist, it's so they can do a sketch, which I think is pretty cool. A cool idea, at least. And here's another one of issue one. I really like this cover. I think like this sketch look looks really, really nice. I love that. And another one. <laughs> Oh, Betty Boop, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> and here's another colorless cover, which looks nice, though. I like that. And I really, really like this cover. That looks nice. And another one, number two. Looks really nice. I think this is so beautiful has like that Vegas feel to it. Keeping on the Betty Boop thing for a little moment, I this was also at the comic shop when I was out getting those comics. I saw this there. This was actually the display item and I fell in love with it. It's so cute. I collect Betty Boop merchandise. All sorts. And I actually don't have this type of item which is a lamp it's a hanging lamp and it has this hook and chain here it looks like that and it's a battery powered lamp there's a switch right on the side somewhere right here i'll have to turn the flash off or i'll insert a clip of of it glowing but yeah it has like a cylinder light bulb inside and I thought this was so cute and I like the fact that it's battery powered so when it's hanging you know there won't be a hassle of cord hanging down you can just switch the batteries out easily so yeah that is super nice I like this a lot and lastly are not comic books but they are something that I picked up at a, um, a festival a couple months ago and I just wanted to show them because I really love this artist. I always buy things from them when they're at conventions and stuff. But these are a couple of art prints that I got. And this is Yu Yu Hakusho. Let's just set them down for a second. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, this is Yu Yu Hakusho. Really, really, really nice. Love this art print. That's great, and I was really happy to see that art print with the main characters on there because I feel like it's a forgotten anime. <laughs> and next is not an anime, but it's Mario riding Yoshi, and there's Bowser in the background. Bowser's one of my favorite Mario characters, aside from Yoshi and Kirby. <laughs> Nintendo characters, I should just say. But anyways, I really like this print too. I thought this was really nice. It looks really, really good. And next is, I'm also a huge Resident Evil fan. So I really, really liked this. This is super nice. Which I actually don't even have any Resident Evil art, surprisingly. But I do have all the movies. Except for the latest one, obviously. Because, actually, I believe the latest movie just got released, um like a week ago or something like that and this next art print is Jiraiya my favorite character in Naruto but this looks really really good really nice look at all the emotion in his face I really love this art print I definitely need to get frames for them and the last art print is like my new favorite Dragon Ball Z art print it's like inspired by Up but I really, really like this. This was actually the first art print when I was walking around past the um, the artist's booth or a little tent thing, whatever it was. This was the first art print that caught my eye and I was like, I have to have it. <laughs> so yeah, and it has like Shinron going around in the back. Super, super nice. I really, really like this. 
And this artist is... This is the business card. They're usually always at conventions. I'm not sure if they're at out-of-state conventions or not, but I've always um, seen them around Arizona conventions. So that's that's their information there. But yeah, really, really cool stuff. I'm pretty sure I buy stuff from him every year. But anyways, that's everything for this video. So thanks for watching, guys.